Hello everyone, Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle, and we have a very interesting comparison today. And this was a very relevant comparison, I guess you could say, if you consider that these two may be vying for a, the same position at this year's Olympia. Of course, Big Ramy got a special invite, and Phil Heath is special because he's the Olympi former Olympia champion, so he's automatically qualified. But anyway, guys, gentlemen, he tracked me down, messaged me, he gave me comments on my Instagram, he frantically wanted to see this matchup, and I noticed Fernando Arroyo made the matchup as well, with different versions, of course, so I took the liberty of posting his on my community section, I'm sure some of you guys had a peek at that, and this is my version of judging this, and this is the 2013 New York Pro for Big Ramy Mamduel's Baye, and 2013 Olympia, so it's 2013 all around, and I have to say, guys, it's somewhat apples and oranges with these two. Big Ramy, his legs are so big, so broad. But then Phil, Philip Heath, he has some classic cuts in his legs. And when you look at the calves, and I often do, guys, it's a game changer for Phil Heath. Upper body, again, apples and oranges. Phil Heath has different type, a different quality of bicep. And look at his forearms. Big Ramy is so big, so broad. He's, he's much bigger, much taller. Well, he's not much taller, but as they stand, I've seen a lot of comparisons with them two on stage together. And Phil, he looks a whole lot shorter because he bends at the knees, things of that nature. Let's go through the poses, guys. And as is Phil, his head height stands a little bit taller than Big Rammy's. Rammy's much like a turtle in this pose. You know what I mean? His head, it sinks down. He bends back, and it creates quite a V-taper. Quite a lat formation for sure. Other than the calves here, I would honestly say Big Ramy, his silhouette, everything taken into consideration is just destroying Phil Heath. And Phil has some pretty nice lats when you look just at the lats, but he's very narrow at the chest, his clavicle width, very narrow. Makes up for it a little bit with the wide shoulders, but still. Fantastic calves, I have to say, on Phil Heath. In particular here in 2013, they're just monstrous. And it really draws out the weakness of Big Ramy, but not in this pose. So Big Ramy, he pretty much has an edge going out of the first two, the front shots. And in the side pose here, all legs taken into consideration. Big Ramy is flattening Phil Heath. But I like the flow of Phil Heath. I think his legs fit perfectly with his upper body. And look at his hamstrings. My soul. They hang, they hang. And the pecs, the quality of Phil Heath's upper body, I, I appreciate. But man, Big Ramy, he is that, just that, big. And look at that bow. Does he have a little bit of gyno there? Is it just me, or does Ramy have a little bit of gyno there? Anyway, it's fairly even. I would personally give an edge to Phil Heath. Now, in the hoo -ha position, as I call the hoo-ha pose... Big Ramy, again, guys, look at his quads. Look at that cut, that development in those in those quads. And the hamstrings, not bad either. Not like Phil Heath's, though. There's a dryness about Phil Heath. He lacks the muscle separation in those quads, but there is a definite dryness. Little bit of a Buddha belly, I have to say. And there's a split in Phil Heath's chest and the overall flow of this one. I do appreciate Big Ramy, Mamdua Elzbaye, a little bit more in the hoo-ha pose, as I like to call it. But... It's not a, not a mandatory pose, not a mandatory shot. A little bit of a turtle shell. Belly, belly. But anyway, guys, no disrespect. Side tricep. And Big Ramy, honestly, he looks fantastic here in 2013. Not his best pose generally, but look at his waistline, the flow of this one. He looks fantastic, I have to say. Is he beating Phil Heath in Phil's one of his best poses? Mm, I don't know. Phil brings quite a package when you look at the lags, the glutes, the quads even this time. Just fantastic. Little bit of a stomach when you look at Big Grammy in the comparison of the two. Chest looks good. And when you look at the tricep development, Phil Heath most certainly has an edge in that aspect. So it's pretty close, guys. I'd give Phil Heath an edge coming out of the two side poses. Now we go to the all-important back shots. And if these pitchers were a little bit clearer, I think we would see a thin skin conditioning Phil Heath has. That big Rammy, I don't think he will ever capture that type of thin skin. I mean, look at the back, guys. Look at the muscle separation. 
but big Remy, he's wider. He's he's wide as a house. He's big, and those legs are big too. Cavs, of course, Phil Heath winning in that aspect. Not that bad though. Big Remy looks decent in the Cavs. It's not like it's it's hurting him. But like I said, guys, look at the muscle separation of Phil's back. Big Remy may be big, but Phil Heath is a little bit smaller, but he's probably better as far as the back development is concerned. Let's go to the rear double by. And I think this one, it's pretty even all along the board here. Phil Heath, like I said, though, a little drier, I think, when you look at the legs, muscle separation in the hamstrings, bigger uh, calves again. Look at the delts on both of these gentlemen. Phil Heath maybe even have a getting an edge in the arm department. So Big Rammy, his back was very good here. Very good indeed. I would definitely, though, give a slight edge to Phil Heath coming out of the two back poses. Go to the Abanthai. And I know I get criticized for saying, oh, they need calves in this pose, that pose. But honestly, I never really look at the calves in the Abanthai. But here for Big Rammy... His quads are so big, and his calves just, they disappear. He has none. It just, the quads are just too big. And Philly Heath, he looks fantastic in the lag department. More muscle separation. When you look at the abs, though, it may be a game changer. Big Rammy may be getting this one, V-taper. So I like the legs for Philip, the doctor, Phil Heath, and I like the upper body. The flow, I don't know. The legs ruin Big Rammy's flow in this one. Let's just ignore this one for a minute and go to the most muscular. Phil Heath, he is round, superior, like a three-dimensional, just a big ball. But Big Rammy is, structurally speaking, he's so much bigger. But that's just it. You look at the arm size, things of that nature, and Phil Heath, he packs a bigger punch on a much, much smaller frame. So he ends up looking bigger and more muscular, I think, in this pose, if you... Take that into consideration, and again, guys, I know, I know, but hey, I have to be true to myself. Look at the calves, even in this pose. Looks like he's on stilts, for goodness sakes, Big Remy. So, honestly, guys, Big Remy it did a lot better than I thought in this one, but here is your winner, 2013, Phil Heath. It was the conditioning. Big Remy, I'm surprised, though. Wow, he was good, 2013, small little waist, so big. Anyway, guys, I hope I uh, answered the call of this one. A gentleman was quite frantically requesting this one. Hope you guys, the rest of you guys enjoyed this one as well. I'm sure it will do uh, very well. Hit thumbs up on it. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. Have a great day.